I'm not really sure if I'm the only one that does this. I kind of, whenever I get my hair braided, they just kind of chill out in the braids and I just rock the braids. I never really do anything other than maybe like do like a half up, half down kind of situation or just like take the two sides and put it back. And I was just tired of it. So I kind of like spruced up the braids with some braids. Like I braided the two sides. I braided my braids and, and put it back. And I have to say, I'm liking, I'm liking what it's doing. It's cute. It's a little different from just, you know, rocking my regular, regular braids. Hello friends. What's up? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia Kelly. If this is the first time that you are ever seeing me here on YouTube, thank you so much for joining. Sit back, relax. From the title of today's video, you know exactly what we are getting into today. That is right. Juvia's Place just dropped another collection and I'm happy to say this is an influencer collab. A huge congratulations to Vanessa. My girl, I've been following you for such a long time now and this is, you kind of became the face of Juvia's Place. I'm so happy for you. The collection looks beautiful and that is exactly what we're diving into today. So in this collection, we do have a six pan eyeshadow palette and two lip glosses. So here is what the palette came in and there's just like a little bit of info on the back here. I believe this is a message from Vanessa herself. It says, this collaboration is a dream come through, all right? It captivates beauty and rich nudes that work on every skin tone, every occasion, and ideal for everyday glam and sophisticated looks. Lots of love, Vanessa. Girl, this palette looks beautiful. I'm loving the color story. It's looking I know someone's gonna come for me for this, but uh, I'm not sure where this other earring is, so we're just gonna keep this hair right here. I have to say that I'm loving the color story of this palette. It's very warm. I love that we have six shades here, um, much like our other influencer collabed palettes, six shades is of the norm. So in this palette, we do have four mattes, okay? And then we have two shimmers. In these matte shades, we do have BSG, and that is gonna be that matte brown. Then we have Akua, which is gonna be that magenta fuchsia shade. We have Stush, that is gonna be the more orange shade. And then we have Busy, which is that perfect nude. For the metallic shades, we do have Extra, and that is of a golden shade, but it does reflect more pink than gold when actually swatched. And then we have Perfectionist, which seems to be a mixture. Here we have like some pearl reflex in here. It is more on the pink side and um, happy to say that everything swatches quite nicely. In this collection, we have two lip products and they are both glosses. The first gloss is Naomi and this is of a light baby pink shade that we have here. And the next shade that we have here is Legit Nude and it does really look like the perfect nude shade. If you've not yet seen Vanessa on IG and just stumbled upon her grace, she's such a stunning being inside and out. I definitely recommend go ahead, check her out, give her a follow, show her all the love. This is such an amazing accomplishment. Much love and blessings to you, Vanessa. And let us get some products on the face. Let's get an eye look going on and I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right, let us bring it in. I came up with a look and I'm happy to say that I used every single shade in today's palette on the eyes. Let's get started. The first shade I'm taking is Stush. Stush is this gorgeous orange. As you can see, it is a very pigmented shade and I'm placing this in the inner portion of my eye. The next shade I'm taking is BSG. BSG is this lovely rich brown shade and I'm gonna put this on the other half of my eye to meet Stush. As you can see, we don't have any oxidizing. The shades are blending so beautifully and the pigmentation is there. I'm gonna follow along with BSG along the lower lash line. I'm gonna stop halfway though. Taking the shade Akua. So I have Akua here on my brush. It does say on the packaging, Akua is not intended for use around the immediate eye area. I'm gonna put this right here on the lower lash line. I mean, I'm not sure if this is considered, maybe this is considered the immediate eye area. I don't, I mean, was I supposed to put this in my crease? I'm not sure. I wanted this color here, but um, there is that kind of warning message not to use it in the immediate eye area. Just be careful when you're using it. I'm trying not to get any of these particles in my eye. 
Already we have used three out of six shades. So I've used about half of the palette now and I have to say out of the shades I've used, they were all matte and they're beautiful. There is no kickback. They're pigmented. They blend out amazingly and work well with each other. So I'm going to cut this crease to make some space for the other three shades. Diving into the shade Busy. Busy is that gorgeous nude shade that we have in the palette. It is matte. There is minimum kickback and I'm placing this right in the inner portion of the cut crease. For some shimmer, I'm using the shade Extra. So I'm gonna place the shade Extra right on the outside of our cut crease and I want you to notice how we have this reflect in the shadow going on. The shade shifts a little bit between gold and pink. This shade is performing so well without the assistance of wetting my brush to make that metallic sort of pop. Last but not least, I'm taking the shade Perfectionist. I'm placing Perfectionist in my inner corner to highlight. Loving the color payoff that we're getting from this shade. Okay, you guys, that is it. All six shades have just been used. I'm going to go ahead and put the finishing touches on the eyes, and I'll be back so we can finish up the rest of this face. And I am back, and I have to say, everything is really coming together. I really love what the eyeshadows are doing on the eyes today. So, we do have two lip products, and I am going to try on both of them for you. I was kind of toying around with the idea of maybe not using a lip liner, but to be honest, we're going to be using a lip liner and the first shade I'm taking is Naomi and Naomi was that kind of like rosy mauvey baby pink that is a lot of descriptions for this one shade um, Naomi was that pinker gloss and I will be using a lip liner um, in the shade wine to accompany Naomi so now that the lips are lined I'm gonna take Naomi and we are gonna put it right in the center I will say that it is a beautiful shade on the lips and off the lips. The consistency is not sticky whatsoever. You are getting that kind of... You are getting some pigmentation. It is not fully opaque nor transparent. So here's the shade Naomi on the lips and I'm gonna say I'm not mad at it. I do think that this shade does complement the palette very much so with this soft pink that we have going on here. The formulation is beautiful. It's not sticky. It's not too thick. Um, I'm just a fan of like a bigger applicator. This is your, you know, your regular small doe food applicator, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just a fan of their bigger applicators that they have for their lip products. But this color is cute. It is beautiful. And the formula is really nice. We do have two lip products in this collection, so it is only right as I promised that I'm going to do both of them. So the second shade we have is Legit Nude, and I will be lining my lips with something more brown because we are wearing a nude, so let's line the lips and then get this on the lips. So here is Legit Nude. I believe that the formula is of the same consistency as Naomi. So here we have Legit Nude, and girl, let me just tell you, I am really loving the shade. I have kind of been feeling like the nude lips of late, and I really like what this is doing. My lips look so full. Okay, my lips are already full, but it's making them look even fuller and just juicier and voluptuous, and I'm loving everything about that. The formula is, like I said, it is not sticky, it is not too thick. Um, you know, my only preference is that I prefer a bigger applicator, and that's just because I'm working with a lot more hair on my lips. But this shade, you guys, I have to say that I love this shade. Like, it's not too pink, it's not too brown, where, you know, it looks kind of dead. Like, this is... Girl, you did it, Vanessa! This is a legit nude and I feel like this shade will be really great for like all skin tones you know like across the board I feel like it won't be too dark for someone who's very fair and I do feel like for someone who's deep it won't be too light on the other end you know like this I feel like is a very good middle ground nude for everyone all right, so let's go over some quick facts. You can get this entire collection for $39, which is really great. I feel like you're getting two lip products and a six pan eyeshadow palette, which I feel like is fit and very versatile for what you're getting. If you want just the palette, you can get the palette for $15, and this is before tax and shipping and all that great stuff. So you can get the palette by itself for $15, or if you're not interested in the palette and you just want the lippies, 
You can get each lip for $10 a pop. And again, you can mix and match. You don't need to get both lippies. You can get them um, individually. You can get one lip and one palette, or the other lip and a palette, or just the palette, or both lips. Do what you want. Mix and match. Make whatever your heart desires, okay? Do you boo. But I feel like these prices are very much just where they need to be. They're not too high. They're not too low. And the quality is above all. Like, that is what I think really should be judged. The quality that you are getting is great, you guys. I really do think for the price, what you're getting quality-wise, you just can't match. And this palette is gonna be great for beginners. It's gonna be great for people who want something neutral and wanna dabble in color just a bit because you do have that sort of rusty orange and that pop of magenta that you can kind of play with if you're new to color. You have so many possibilities with this palette that you can transform your day look into a night look. You can make any monochromatic smoky eye with the brown with that orange with that pink pop of shimmer there's so much that you can do I really do think that this is a great starter palette and into your everyday kind of lifestyle palette so great job Vanessa girl I'm just so happy and so proud of everything that you've accomplished and this is one of many. I cannot wait to see what else you achieve. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video and you learned a few things here and there, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Please feel free to drop some comments down below. What did you like? Do you have anything from this collection yet? Are you gonna get anything from this collection? If you wanna see me on all of my other social media platforms, feel free to go and look at all my links down below in my description bar. Be sure you're following me on Instagram for that day-to-day -day upkeep with what I'm up to. Um, for everyone out there watching that is not yet a friend, join us. Join this ever-growing family. Um, feel free to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. A great thing to click with that is the bell button so you're notified each and every single time I upload a new video. But that is all for today. I want to thank you once again so much for joining me and I'll see you beautiful and amazing people in my next video.